Hey, this is O with CLO Ed TV. Today we're gonna make soles for these shoes. It is really cool to have your own very own custom shoes. If you're interested to see how these shoes were made, go over to Thimblebook on YouTube. You can also check out thimblebook.com and the blogs over there. I'm gonna be breaking this video up into three parts as there are many steps in creating shoe soles. So in today's video, the focus is actually getting the design of the shoe sole. Then next week, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that design and make a mold from that shoe sole. Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and trace your sole. I've already went ahead and took my shoe and traced the shape of my shoe sole. So the next step is to get this scanned and digitized. And what I'll be using is Inkscape, and you can use Inkscape too, which is a free software. So let's go ahead and get this scanned into the computer and then start digitizing this shape. Okay, so I've added some color to the shoe sole to make it visible on camera. But long story short, we're gonna take our pen tool and create a path. Okay, now I've got my shoe sole smoothed out and now I'm at the point where I can duplicate this and then also start adding designs. Okay, so this is my first general design for the shoe sole and obviously I can make several different designs, zigzags, other shapes, amoebas, curves, but I just want to get this basic circle one down. Now we're going to take this over into Blender, extrude it out like we learned in the last video and turn it into a 3D printed sole. Alright, let's get to it. If you see this yellow line over here, this represents the size of my print bed and if you notice, the shoe sole is too big for my print bed. So that's why we're making the mold on the next video. Okay, so this is an old shoe sole and basically what I'm gonna do is make sure that the thickness is correct. So right now this shoe sole is a little bit worn so it's sitting at about 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna add probably like maybe a two more millimeters to give it some extra thickness on the tread. So also, the lip is a secondary addition. So for this particular saw, I'll add a second model for the strip that will call, um, create the rubber so I can go ahead and put that rubber banding around. And then also this design right here has the rubber banding built in. So we're gonna test both to see which one works. All right guys, I'm pretty satisfied with this design. So in the community tab, I'll print off a couple pictures to see how they line up with the shoe. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in. On the next video, we're actually going to take this particular shoe, take the design we did in the computer, and we're going to go ahead and attach it to the shoe. Guys, stay close to God, have fun designing, and guess what? I'll see you on the next video. Take care.